For our anniversary, we're gonna stay at the Grandestino Tower. It's so beautiful. It's at Coronado Springs Resort. We spent a lot of time at this resort since it opened. This is probably my favorite part about this resort is how lovely the lobby is. So we're gonna stay actually in this tower building. So we're gonna spend lots of time at the pool. All of it, we love it all. We love it all. I have my little sparkling Nicole glitter cup. One of Jim's work friends made. He gave it to me today as a little surprise. Look at this nice tall shower. Oh, yes. Okay, let me turn some lights on and we'll walk around. First impressions are good. We got a king size. We got a Mickey towel, as you do. And I am delighted to see if we have any kind of firework view tonight. I'm not sure that we will, but this is so nice. So this is where we're gonna eat dinner tonight. Jim just said this might be one of his new favorite resorts. He loves it. So just to clarify, these are the other kinds of rooms. You like enter them from outside, kind of like more motel style, I guess. I don't know. They're really cute too. They have a cocoa theme which I would definitely stay in that. We love Coco. These rooms, um, this whole tower was inspired by a short film that Salvador Dali and Walt Disney intended to make together and they didn't get to finish it. And basically Walt Disney Imagineering made it and then themed a resort after it. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. I also really like these like sliding doors. It feels like a like a big castle door. It's huge. It's like an extra extra wide door. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! We've been married four years today. I love you. I love you. <laughs> One of my favorite things about staying at a hotel is when they have the rainforest shower head, but then this also has one of these like handles which you can probably turn around and take a more normal water in an angle shower. This is that big main area. They had an awesome really pretty wedding on the Disney wedding show like right here. The colors were, were really beautiful and then I found I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Oh yeah I can't wait. You can see the tree of life in Expedition Everest all the way over there to the left. We love this view. The water's so nice. They have beautiful hammocks here. It's awesome for walking. You can see some of the hammocks over there. It's just a really, really pretty resort and it's totally different. I'm like ready for a pool day. That's this situation. But um, this resort is really different. We actually looked at this place like very seriously for our wedding because everything's different now. But at the time, this was a place where you could have basically a wedding at Disney that was technically a third party wedding because they have um, another company that does some of the restaurants here. So you could have like Mickey come to your wedding here at this resort in, but not a Disney fairy tale wedding. So at the time we considered that because we really liked this resort and didn't end up working out. The person wasn't like, didn't respond in time. Um, but it's a very romantic setting. It's beautiful. It feels really different than any of the other Disney resorts, I will say that. So we're staying in the Grand Destino Tower. The rest of the resort is really nice too, but if you wanted to be there, that's what that tower is called. That's what those rooms are. They just have so many nice places to sit. The landscaping's gorgeous. I'm so excited to just like walk around here and eat. This used to be the lobby and when I was little, we came on a stay right over here. They had a little TV and they had Peter Pan playing and I was like, just happy as could be. It's one of my first Disney resorts I remember staying at. These kinds of lights are just so dreamy to me. We have one from our honeymoon. So this is like their quick service option. It is really cute. I love their market. It's really cute. I love the lights and everything and the theme. They unfortunately 
kind of like don't understand how to um, have a vegan option on the menu. They have a vegan burger, but they have topped it with goat cheese and aioli. So we had to try and explain like goat cheese isn't vegan. We want to eat plant-based. So this is, they don't have the best options. They do have a lot of snacks here, which is nice. Chickpeas. I think I have met and exceeded my goals for the day. I really wanted to relax by the pool, have a cool drink. And we actually found a frozen strawberry margarita at the um, Mercado. It was pretty good. And the pool is really cool here. It's like a dig site, it's called. And it has one of the best pool slides, I think. It has like a little theming in it. The pool is pretty big, but it has this nice situation going on that's kind of like the Mexico Pavilion, like a, what'd you call this pyramid? I don't know, but it has a really nice water feature. I like it. Happy anniversary, sir. Happy anniversary, madam. Pale people be at the pool like. <laughs> I'm proud of you for protecting yourself from the sun. Thanks, buddy. Are you doing something very important on your phone? No, I don't know. I was going to play Magic the Gathering, and then I realized that, for whatever reason, I can't see things on my phone when I'm out in the sun. You have a healthy helping of sunscreen in your mustache? Oh! It is absolutely Yep, here we go! To get his phone wet. <laughs> I love my outfit. I'm wearing my little tutu. Beautiful view, and I can see how many people are there. <laughs> so we're gonna sign up for the walk-up list, I think, in the app, which is very convenient. This is our dinner view. This place is so beautiful. So basically, we chose to sit at this little, um, like a, like a little bar that faces out. So this is about as much as I'm doing for going out to dinner right now. <laughs> they have like tables you can sit at and eat. They also have little couch and small like comfy chairs. They have like every seating arrangement here um, and it's so nice. Outdoor, open air, just really nice menu. We're trying a poke bowl tonight and uh, they have like a corn dip, chips and guac. There is a lady, the manager here, she's really awesome and um, she just like really made one of our visits here a while ago. And there are a few people that I've thought about like this past year and a half, just like, you know, where are they now type thing. And um, I'm just so delighted to see familiar faces back at, in their roles. <laughs> All right, we got a plant-based corn dip here. It's pretty good. It's different. I like it. It's top to the Parmesan. It's got a nice taste to it. The guac is the real winner here. Very limey. Very flavorful. Awesome chip texture. So I'm into the whole thing. Okay, once again, I dug in, but wow. So far, this sauce and the rice are awesome. This is the view at the end of the night. It's just so lovely here. It wasn't too crowded at all. Really worked out tonight. Nicole wanted you to see her outfit. There's lightning over there. Sparkle. <laughs> Made it to the top. We just hopped out here. Some, um, not too many people out here. But the Epcot fireworks will be kind of like off in the distance over there. You can see a tiny spaceship Earth right there. This is Galaxy's Edge, by the way. Yeah. Gonna do the magic. Door wow, I love the sound. We're leaving the room. We really liked this room. Love the view. It was very pretty and very themed, but not necessarily Disney. It feels a little more relaxed just like 
pretty. And we really like this view. So we're going to go back here to the pool and spend the afternoon there before we go home. So these were my wedding shoes. I brought them thinking I might wear them last night, but well, I went comfy after the pool all day. And I just like to put them on every year for my, my anniversary, our anniversary, <laughs> and see if they still light up because my family was just absolutely enamored that they lit up. So when I walked down the aisle, they are irregular choice shoes. I think it's like a brand from the UK. But this was their Disney collection from 2017. They do have a current one as well. But they had Cinderella on the bottom. A little dirty now, but... It said they had 10,000 steps of lighting up. And it's been four years now, so... They're still going. The elevators are so cool, I wanted to show you. So you push the number here. And then... You get in, there's no numbers in there. We're just checking out the beautiful, like, art, colorful light walls here in the lobby. They have, like, quite a few hidden Mickeys in them of different kinds. Jim found this difficult one. Right here. Then it also has, like, these tiny ones. That uh, kind of print is in the rooms in a really a much more demure way in the wallpaper. The same pattern. The highlight of this whole stay for me was last night we went to this beach. We were there for like a while. They have all these hammocks. It was like dark and they had the background music playing. Just super nice like Spanish sounding guitar. Almost like Cirque du Soleil music or spa music. It was just so nice. There was a breeze. This is a breezy resort. This resort has like its own weather system. It's always windy here. <laughs> like it's just really pretty. But I, I just love how much nature you can enjoy here. They've done such a nice job with the landscaping. It's just, it feels very Florida, but also like very tropical. We're checking out now. I wanted to show you one last thing. There's a hidden Mickey here, so let's see if you can see it. It's really big. We had a great stay here. I will say that the food here for lunchtime, the options are really limited and what is here is not good. I would definitely recommend getting your pool time in and uh, you know, doing lunch at Disney Springs or even heading over to another resort, getting mobile takeout. I would explore other options for lunch. It was really difficult here. So here is this Mickey. That's one ear, this is the head, and this is the other ear. It's huge, so beautiful. Aside from no lunch options here, the dinners are fantastic. Love Three Bridges Bar and Grill. Felt very safe there, outdoors, spaced out. Very uh, detail-oriented staff there. Um, also love Toledo, it was actually closed on our trip. It's closed two nights a week, so that's something important to think about on your trip right now is even though some restaurant reopened, is it actually open when I'm going? Because that really makes a difference when you don't have food to eat. Um, but aside from the food, really love this resort. The landscaping's beautiful. Love all the places to walk in the water. The pool's awesome. I love the vibe of this whole um, lobby and the rooms. That same vibe kind of like goes throughout the halls with the beautiful art and everything that they did. We'll definitely be back here. We both really enjoyed this day. And um, it's a really nice place to just relax. See you next time. Have a magical day.